Research is not always simple or intuitive. It might not be too hard to find whatever it is you're looking for, but it can be hard to notice if it's not the full story. The trouble with most research is, you don't know what you don't know. And that can make it difficult to recognize a mistake, problem, weakness, and so on with whatever you're looking into. Especially if you're going into it with a limited background. So, I thought it would be interesting to cover a mistake I recently made. And maybe, not only will that help other people research a bit more carefully, but also be more transparent and responsible when they catch a mistake too. Especially a big one. So, let's do this. Last week I made a video covering alternative historical names for months of the year, starting with January through March, and in that video I covered a man of the name Commodus. Now, I knew a little bit about this guy, he led the Roman Empire and notably had a bit of a uh, Hercules complex. Like a really weird Hercules complex. But it would be a Reddit post on Today I Learned covering how he renamed each of the months after himself at one point that inspired me to create this mini, uh, mini series. The list that I first came across was this, starting with Luchas and ending with Pios. Shout out to my pronunciation of these words being attributed to Google Translate. Sorry if there's any problems. This order being on the Commodus Wikipedia page as of this video. And being Wikipedia, I of course looked at the source in which this came from, which was kind of meh. So I copy and pasted the list into a search engine, with some quotation marks, and found the list all over the internet, including in some books. Looking at them, they covered quite a range in terms of both the times in which they were published and the specific ways that they were covering the topic. But for the most part, they all seemed to imply that this was the order of the names from January to December. The logic being, with his first name being Luchos, it made sense that the first month of the year was also named Luchos, and the rest shared the titles and names he used in the orders in which he used them. Makes sense, right? Why would anybody immediately assume otherwise? And well, that was that. The video seemed simple enough, I didn't feel like there was a problem, it was just one more straightforward historical fact, so I moved forward with relative confidence. It takes me such a long time to create my larger videos because I comb through the sources relentlessly. Getting things publicly wrong is a very real problem I worry about, which is why I wanted to cover this. So the video was made, I posted it, and moved on. Nobody noticed a problem, I didn't notice a problem. And then I started working on the next video, April through June. And in the process, I found out the Wikipedia page for the Julian calendar had a section for the naming of the months. And there, I had a problem. This list was different. On the Commodus page, it was Lucios to Pedos. But from here, it said the months went from Amazonius to Exupatorius. Uh-oh. That's not good. Was I really wrong? I just posted that video. No, this has got to be wrong. His first name being January makes way more sense. So I took this new list, I copied and pasted it, and I found there are many places using this order too. Websites, some sketchy, some not, even books. At this point, I was frustrated. How can some places say it is one way, and others say it's the other way so confidently? And because I already put forward one version, I really had to fight my own bias here because it is really embarrassing to be wrong. I could have just pushed for what I put forward or even ignore it altogether. But that's not really who I am. This isn't a sports match. The only side we should root for is the one that has the best support. So to feel comfortable, I had to find a source to explain the logic and or just provide a proof around the placement of the particular names on the months, regardless of which version was right, and down the rabbit hole I went. Long story very short, I eventually found a journal article on JSTOR titled Commodus, the God Emperor, and the Army. It seemed to talk a bit about the terms and their placement. There was one problem though, uh, it was behind a paywall, and it's not uncommon for someone's research to end right then and there if you don't have the extra cash to be able to get these types of articles. But I was committed. so. I did get a copy. In it, the author M.P. Spidel states that an object known as the Titianus Altar is the only known monument in existence that actually uses the naming for dates that were created under Commodus, an object that has uh, very few search results. Spidel does state that there actually has been debate over the particular order of the names and the months that they are specifically associated with. Stating, for example, an author of the name Boisvain who suggests a switch between Felix and Pios, 
But Spidal suggests that the altar itself supports the order as originally claimed by Cassius Dio, a person who lived alongside Commodus. And looking at the order of the months as listed by Cassius Dio, they are in fact in the order of the other months. Amazonius to Exuperatorius, not the one I had been using. And that may be the best confirmation we're probably going to get on this matter. Is there a possibility that there is another order that is actually the real one? Maybe? But this version, this side, has the best support. Spidal does suggest that the chain of names that makes the most sense is the Lucios to Augustus. So the rest of which seem to have a randomness to them, and the true reason for the particular placement may simply be lost to time. Spidal covers a lot of different topics, but I can say thanks in part to his work that this order is not correct. But we should probably try to correct it in the places where we can. So that is the situation. My last video had a major part in it that was likely wrong, and I think that is important for people to know. I found it myself, and I was surprised to learn there was even a problem in the first place. And with that, I will be unlisting the video and plan on remaking it. It's kind of crazy to think how it did go over everybody's head, including mine. And that's why I think it's important for not only content creators to provide sources for where they got their information from, but also if you as a viewer really like something and plan on remembering it and or sharing it, double check their sources once in a while. I actually had that Julian Calendar Wikipedia page in the description of my last video. And also, sources are nice because they provide credit where credit is due. Big shout out to MP Spidal. If you are new or simply inexperienced when it comes to a subject, be mindful, be careful, because there may just be something you didn't even know, you didn't know. And with all that said and done, my name's Dale, this is Think Fact, and remember, never stop learning. Thank you for watching. They are in fact in the other order, Amazonius to Exuperatilda.